Well, segregating students at lunch based on their grades, part of a controversial new program at Pasco County High School. Well, not all parents and students are on board. Fox 13's Catherine Hawley's live tonight at Hudson High School to break this all down. I can see why this has riled some feathers here. Absolutely, Mark. You know, according to school officials, this program was rolled out at the beginning of the school year, and it flags students who show risk factors that they might not graduate on time. The school rewards those pupils who are on track to graduate, but some people say the changes are actually punishing the high schoolers who aren't on track. <laughs> Cell phone videos from Hudson High School students show a very packed lunchroom this week. There's so many kids that sit on the floors and uh, they're sitting on tables and they're just standing and it's overcrowded. The second quarter started Monday and with it came changes to incentivize being on track. You have to have a 2.0 GPA. You can't have four or more excused or unexcused absences. There are perks like free admission to sporting events and special privileges like being able to eat lunch outside the cafeteria. But students say everyone not on track is forced to stay there the entire period. Even if we had a pass, we could not go see any teachers. We're not allowed to leave the lunchroom, period. School officials tell Fox 13 there are more than enough seats at lunch to accommodate the roughly 250 off-track teens. A lot of people that are tracking still sit in the cafeteria rather than going into the um, lounge or the commons, which then makes less room for the people who aren't tracking that have to sit in there. Brooks is on track and also on board with the program. She says it definitely pushes students to get their grades up. I think the program needs to go away. Mandy Lohan's son is also on track, but she says the new lunch policy is segregating the students. Other parents are concerned the move could be breaking the law for kids with disabilities. You're definitely labeled regardless of. If you don't have that, you know, obviously they're putting you into a special group. Students in that not on track group tell me this isn't pushing them to try harder in their classes. Instead, it's distracting and dividing the student body. You want unity and you want family. That's what COBRA preaches, but yet they're separating the kids. It's not right. To be considered on now to be considered on track, it is more than just a student's grades. People we spoke with are also concerned that if someone misses four or more days because of an illness or a family emergency, they could automatically lose their on track status. Live at Hudson High School, Catherine Hawley, Fox 13 News.